Hey guys! Hi! Today we're going to talk about roasting capsicums or peppers for our US friends. Um, we love to roast our own capsicums and have them on hand, particularly in the summer months because they're so nice to add to salads and things. And we prefer to make our own because sometimes the ones you get in the supermarket um, they can have like vegetable oil, like they're stored in vegetable oil, um, like obviously to keep them fresh. And, and sugar we, sometimes too. Yeah, so we're trying to avoid that, so we prefer just to make our own. Um, so, first things first, we have got the oven preheated 200 Celsius. 400 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, yep. And we have got two red capsicums here. I prefer to use red Capsicums, they just, yeah, they're nicer and they get so sweet when they're roasted, they're delicious. And these are big. <laughs> they're they giant size. So <laughs> they're like bigger than your hand when you put your hand on them. Which like, is wow. good though because they shrink down when they're cooking. So start preparing them. So I'll just take one and slice it in half lengthways and you just want to go through the middle of the stalk. And then you just take a spoon and kind of scrape out the seeds and the kind of membrane part. This is another one of those recipes that I haven't seen in action before. Oh really? Because <laughs> I was like, do we take the seeds out or not? I don't know. <laughs> so that's cool. So you just take that out. I like to leave the stalk in there for now because it kind of holds it together and keeps its shape while it's cooking. Otherwise it can kind of um, collapse quite a bit. Okay, so we have scraped out all the seeds and the membrane from our capsicums and then we're just going to get a baking tray with some non-stick paper on it and put them like cut side down. They look so pretty with the seeds out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> God, that one is huge. <laughs> they really are giant size. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to pop them cut side down like this on the tray and then we're going to pop them into the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes and we want the skin to be like black and blistered. So don't be concerned that they look like they're burned. We're going to take the skin off but to get it to come off easily it kind of needs to be black and blistered all over. I was going to ask you about the skin, whether we took the skin off. So that's yes, good. yep. So we'll pop them in the oven for about 40 minutes and then we'll check on them and we'll see how they're going. So that's been 40 minutes? Yes. And so what are we looking yeah, for? Yeah, you can see it's kind of all starting to blister and there's some blackened pieces. But given these were such big capsicums, I'm going to pop them back in just for another 5 or 10 minutes because I really want to make sure you kind of that, want this part to be Yeah, darker. that it's all blistered all over so the skin comes off really easily. So it's going to depend on your oven and the size of the capsicums, but I'm going to go for a little bit longer and then we'll show you what they look like. Okay, so that has been 50 minutes now for our capsicums and I reckon they're good to go. You can see they're a lot black, a lot more black all over and it's all very blistery and you can see they're kind of like sagging down now that we've taken them out of yeah. the oven. So now we want to put them into a bowl while they're hot and cover them so that they sweat as they cool down and that makes the skin able to come off Tricky. a lot more easily. So I've got a bowl here, so I'm just going to see if I can fit them all in. Now they're going to be, mushy. see how soft and, not mushy. Oh yeah, but I mean uh, They're very soft, so. But when you picked it up, it kind of collapses. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you can see how much from when we put them <laughs> in the oven, how much smaller they are now. So I'm just going to pop them into this bowl and I've got a lid for it so they will sweat in there. Otherwise you can just cover a normal bowl with like plastic. Clean wrap or clean something. Wrap. Yep. So how long? So I'm just going to leave them until they cool completely because right. we need to be able to handle Touch them em. to pull okay. the skin off. So I've set those aside to cool and then we'll show you what what to do next okay so we've let our capsicums cool down Whoa, completely yeah and you can see there's quite a bit of liquid in the bottom so now is the fun part the fun part that can be a little bit messy yeah. so we'll just start with one don't me to do it <laughs> no that's all right so this in other words no no, no. no i'll do it <laughs> um the stalk part should now just easily come away um, and we just want to peel off the skin. So you can see it's kind of 
separated from the flesh there. So we're just going to peel it away. It should come away pretty easily because we've roasted them. Looks good. It doesn't matter if you don't get the skin off on one full chunk, right? But you just want to get... Oh, like, no, you don't have to do that, no. Yeah. Okay, so oh, you can perfect. see now we've got this beautiful roasted capsicum. And it looks exactly like what you would get out of the jar. Yeah, so it's so sweet and delicious. We love to use it in like, uh, one of my favourite ways is an omelette. Uh, sorry, not omelette. A frit we could use an omelette. That'd yeah, be yum. In a frittata with feta cheese and the roasted capsicum. We've got a recipe on our blog, we'll link it below. That's yum. really delicious. Yeah. Um, in, and my other favourite way, which was we found, we tried for the first time when we were in the US, was pimento cheese, which we ha I hadn't really had before, which is like, ro we used these roasted capsicums with cheese and mayo, and it was so yummy. It's delicious. Yeah. What about you? Um, we, I like the romesco sauce. It's delicious. Mm. Um, it's great with prawns, Seafood, shrimp. Seafood, yeah. chicken, yum. Delicious. Yeah. So we use that in um, these. Um, capsicums, yeah. peppers in that recipe as well. But yeah, you can use it in anything. Yeah, add it to your salad or it's really nice on a grazing platter with some like cured meats and olives and that type of thing. But yeah, you can pretty much do anything with that. It's really delicious. You should definitely try it. You can see how easy it was. It took a little bit of time in the oven, but aside from that, it was pretty easy to do. So we hope you found this useful. Definitely try making your own roasted capsicums. It's really not that hard and you know exactly what ingredients are in there. Hopefully just capsicum. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below your favorite way to use them. Mine's definitely pimento cheese. <laughs> and mine's the romesco sauce. <laughs> I love sauces for sure. <laughs> Okay, so if you like this video, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it helps us. Um, also, subscribe to our channel. Um, we're doing a lot more videos like this. Um, cooking, recipes. Grocery uh, hauls. Yeah. Our keto travels. So follow along. We would love to have you. Thank you so much. Bye.